Now, U.S. and Russian officials say they've agreed to hold a summit between Presidents Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin. The exact date and location is due to be announced later on this Thursday. For more on this and other news from around the world, let's turn to our Noah Adam. So, Adam, a much anticipated summit, especially amid the escalating tensions between these two extremely important countries. That's right, Mark. It will be the first meeting between Trump and Putin that is not on the sidelines of a larger gathering of world leaders. President Trump underscored the importance of the summit, uh, upcoming summit, which is expected to take place next month, possibly in the Finnish capital, Helsinki. Uh, and I've said it from day one, getting along with Russia and with China and with everybody is a very good thing. It's good for the world, it's good for us, it's good for everybody. Uh, so we'll probably be meeting sometime uh, around my trip to Europe. The announcement of the summit follows a meeting on Wednesday in Moscow between Putin and Trump's national security adviser, John Bolton. Bolton acknowledged that many in the U.S. may not be happy with the meeting, especially amid allegations of Russian interference in U.S. elections and Moscow's increased isolation from the West. I think the president recognizes that uh, there may be some criticism uh, of this decision to have the meeting. You've heard some of it here today. But that the, what must guide his conduct of American foreign policy is the pursuit of American national interest. And he judges correctly, in my view, that uh, this bilateral summit between uh, himself and President Putin uh, is something that he needs to do and will do regardless of political criticism at home. Issues to be discussed are likely to include Syria, Ukraine, as well as North Korea. Trump did not answer a question about whether he would raise the issue of Russia's alleged meddling in the 2016 U.S. presidential election.